Hi, I'm Danny Ecker with your Chicago Business Today Midday Report. Mayor Emanuel is stressing the transparency of a new Chicago infrastructure trust he announced last week. In a briefing yesterday, city officials shed some light on how the bank will work. It will be governed by a five-person board with all moves subject to freedom of information requests. It also won't engage in any long-term leases or sales of major government assets. The trust is designed to bridge together public agencies like CPS and CTA with private investors who could lend money for transformative projects. Its first project is slated to be Retrofit Chicago, a $200 million investment aimed at reducing energy consumption at city properties, which could save taxpayers $20 million annually. The Chicago Board Options Exchange is putting a top executive on leave amid a federal compliance probe on how it oversees markets. Patrick Fay, CBOE's Senior VP of Member and Regulatory Services, was removed from his post, according to a Dow Jones News report, though neither he nor the exchange have been charged with any wrongdoing. There's been increased scrutiny over how U.S. markets are policed in the wake of the MF Global Collapse, which is currently under a federal investigation. One of CBOE's brokerages, Bats Global Markets, said late last month that it got a request from the SEC for documents related to its communications and strategy. Well, Northern Trust CEO Frederick Waddell's 2011 pay jumped 12 percent, according to the SEC, but not according to the bank. They say it actually dropped 12 percent to $9.6 million last year. The difference is in the stock awards and pension benefits that the SEC includes in its calculation. Now, they did agree that Waddell's base salary rose 6 percent to $956,000, but Northern Trust wanted to make it clear that the stock awards the SEC included reflected 2010 performance. More recently, meanwhile, Chicago's largest locally headquartered bank made headlines with a stock drop and an announcement that it would be laying off 700 workers. And two local investment firms are getting a piece of the Facebook IPO action. The social networking giant has named Chicago-based William Blair & Company and Loop Capital as two of its 31 underwriting banks. Facebook filed an amended version of its $5 billion IPO to the SEC this week, expanding its underwriters from six banks it hired originally. The company's highly anticipated public debut is set for later this year with expectations of a nearly $100 billion valuation. And that's what's happening in Chicago Business Today. For more breaking business headlines, stick with ChicagoBusiness.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. We'll see you back here on Monday.